In my previous videos, I talked about observational tests for water on farm tests. And in this video, I'm going to initiate talking about lab tests. So for lab tests, we usually send out our water sample to a general lab or to a diagnostic lab. If you, go, if you want to have your water analyzed for uh, mineral content or just some general uh, bacteria, in that case, you need to send out your water sample to a general water lab. But if you are looking specifically at some uh, bacteria like Zodomonas or other uh, types of uh, specific bacteria, then you need to send out your water sample to a diagnostic lab. So to do that, we need to take water sample. We have two kinds of samples. The first one is drip sample that we usually take from the nipple drinkers from here. And I'm going to explain how to take drip samples. And the second type is actually taking swab samples. And I'll talk about that after the drip samples. So to take drip samples, first we need to disinfect the tweezers that we are going to use to take the water sample. So after disinfecting the tweezer, we need to trigger the nipple drinker for about 15 seconds to let the water actually uh, come down and those sediments that maybe are in the line, they can come to the uh, close to the drinker line, to the nipple drinker, and then we can take our water sample. So just trigger it for 15 seconds, let it go. And then we need to have a clean uh, sample bag and we need to label it. Label it with the bar number and drinker number. For example, let's say you are running this water test on your uh, third bar, bar number three, and the drinker line number is number four. So you need to write it down on your uh, sampling bag, and then you need to trigger the you know uh, nipple drinker to get the water samples inside the uh, sampling bag. So you need to hold it here and wait until you get the right amount of water in your uh, sampling bag. If you are going to have your water analyzed for mineral test as well, you need to get uh, more water samples, maybe half of this sampling bag. But never ever rely on the results of drip samples because by doing drip sample you are just looking at that water that uh, is coming out of out of that drinker line and you don't really know what's going on inside the water line and what kind of biofilm is attached to the wall of your drinker line that's why the better sampling is swab samples. So to take swab samples, some people use uh, Q-tips to just, you know, take swab samples from inside the line, but it's not reliable. So you need to take the sample by sponge. Here I have put the sponge 
inside this container, you need to put a little bit uh, phosphate buffer inside this container to um to let the pH be around seven and do not fluctuate the pH. So again, first we need to sanitize our tweezers and then we need to take out the sponge from our container and then we will need to just take the sample, swap samples from inside the line. So to take the swap sample from inside the line, you need to uh, completely, you know, insert this uh, sponge and rotate it 360 degree, completely, you know, going forward and backward. You need to make sure that you are taking the sample from the germs that harboring your water drinker. And then without touching any other places, we need to just put it back inside our container and put the lid and send this uh, swab sample to a lab to know more about your biofilm and the types of germs that harboring your water line. Especially if you are running a antibiotic free uh, poultry operation, it is really important to have idea about your uh, swab samples. And when you are taking drip sample, your swab samples, you need to make sure that uh, you are not getting your sample contaminated by other sources. Um, so let's say if you are taking a sample from a drinker line and based on the ventilation uh, path, it is uh, on the path of dust. So that dust can sit on your water sample or the sponge and get your water sample contaminated. So that's why we really need to make sure that our sample is a good representative of the water coming out of, out of a drinker line or the sample inside the drinker line. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Always try to send out your water sample to for analysis and for water mineral test for water microbiological test for uh, biofilm test to make sure that you are running a successful poultry operation to make sure that your water system is clean enough and your water treatment works well. And if you are trying, you know, different water sanitation programs, but still you are not getting a good result on cleaning the biofilm, then it is really important to take a swab sample again, to send it to a lab and ask them to test the biofilm against different sanitizers, disinfectants. And then at the lab, they can do that. And uh, they can let you know what kind of disinfectant actually works for your biofilm. That's why we need to learn the water sampling process and use it on our poultry farms. As always, Please feel free to subscribe to MA Skills channel and feel free to share the video with your peers. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.